Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video in this series introducing ACSL short problem topics. Today, as you can see, we're going to go over recursive functions. So recursive functions is already kind of a thing that's prevalent in programming as well. So maybe this is something y'all are more, a little bit more familiar with. But um, as always, we're going to start off with the definition. So recursive functions are just functions that will call itself over and over again until it reaches the requirement for an edge state. And this requirement is usually called the base case. Uh, and recursive functions can solve problems and can be broken down into subproblems of the same type. Hence why it calls itself over and over again, since you're basically repeating the same problem. And the parameter, oh, and terminology to know, parameters are inputs of the function. So for example, uh, we're gonna take uh, this example right here. This shows a recursive function. F is gonna be the function name, uh, parentheses indicates it's defining uh, f of x here is it's defining a function and uh, our value for x here is 18. So what we're going to do is we're going to first write this out f of 18 is equal to and then we're going to check here. So we have two if statements. First we check if x is greater than or equal to 10 and it seems that this is true. So we're going to call call itself. So call function f of x minus four. So x is four, 18. So 18 minus four is 14 and then minus two. So don't forget this, this is very important. And then we're gonna keep going until we can solve all of these function calls. Of course, so f of 14, 14 still greater than or equal to 10. So we're gonna call, uh, so we're gonna do this call again. And then f of 10 is still greater than or equal to 10. So we're gonna call this one more time. And then now you see it's that six is no longer greater than equal to 10. So we're gonna go to this next if statement here. And it says, if X is less than 10, then the value is just negative four. So F of six is negative four. And then you can kind of treat this like a variable and you can replace everywhere you see negative six and solve. And then you can replace wherever you see uh, f of 10. Oh, oops. And likewise here. Oh, it's doing something very funky. And then uh, everything's been solved. We have our value for f of 18. So this will be our answer, negative 10. Most of these problems are basically like this, except maybe sometimes they'll have a little bit more complicated than the equation in here. So let's take a look at our next practice problem. Okay, it's the same thing, except this time it just says otherwise. Think of it as an else statement. Our previous problem, you could have replaced the second if x is less than 10 with a else statement too, but they wrote it out. Uh, this one, we're defining a lowercase f function, and we're defining this as f of x is equal to f of x minus 2 plus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 6. You can see x is 10, so that is definitely greater than or equal to 6. So we're going to call f of 8 plus 1. f of 8, again, 8 is greater than or equal to 6, so we're going to do f of 6 plus 1. And then f of 6 is equal to 6, so we're going to continue doing that. Now, f of four goes, falls into this otherwise category, and it says just to return this x. And x is four, so we're just gonna replace it with that. We're gonna replace f of four with four here, solve for f of six, replace f of six with five, and solve for f of eight. f of eight is gonna be replaced with six, and f of 10 will be equal to seven. 